Hi, I'm Dr. Bertie Sperry. What's in a name? My name is Bertice. I've been called everything but Beatrice, Bertito, Bernice, Patrice, Pata, and everything else that starts with a B. I've been given nicknames and other designations and people will say, well, we're just going to call you this. I love those people who took the leadership course on saying a person's name. People like to hear their own name, so say it over and over again. Say their name, and then they don't say my name, and it it, it, <laughs> it makes me laugh. What's in a name? It used to bother me when I was a child that, that people wouldn't bother to learn my name, but it doesn't bother me anymore. In fact, I tell people, if you're introducing me, really don't worry about getting it right because that will stumble, cause you to stumble and you'll say it wrong. And I really know who I am. I rarely say my name over and over again in a presentation or anywhere else because eh, the message is more important than my name. But now people are trying to figure out what to say. Do I call you black? Do I call you Negro? Do I call you African American? Do I call you colored? What do I call you? I grew up in the 60s and in our household, we were not allowed to use Negro or colored. My mother would say, we don't speak Spanish. And what color was he colored? Or black. At a time when other people weren't doing it, she was reclaiming the pride in that word and giving it something positive. So I've been black. I'll often use African-American for people who need to hear it or use it or write it. People became African-American and then there was a question of, well, why do you have to be African-American? Exactly that. Why can't you be just American? Now you've answered your own question. The need to be African-American was to reclaim something more than just the origins of our existence here as enslaved people who built a country that we didn't get a chance to participate fully in. And so there was this reclaiming of the kings and the queens and the origins and the weavers and the textile merchants and the millers and the bricklayers and the builders of the pyramids. So we became African-American. And now as Black Lives Matter, people are using that word and saying, say it, don't whisper it. It's something to be proud of. But folks are a little bit confused. What do I call you? I like the term global majority, <laughs> but we're not going to use that. We're not, we're not going to do that to one another just yet. So here's what I suggest. That you do what my Aunt Gladys did. Everybody became my love. There were so many grandchildren and great-grandchildren and nieces and nephews and cousins and Everybody became my love. Get to know people closely enough so that you know. And you're not afraid to say the word black. You don't have to whisper it when you say black people. But when I hear that, I know that's a person who grew up at a time when black was not positive. It is. It always has been. We just designated it as something else. I love you, beloveds. And we're going to get this right. But we have to get closer to do it.